Hello everyone, I'm the old guy and welcome to my tips and tricks video for Patrician 3. In this episode, I'd like to talk about what I do to make a basic automated trade route. So I have a trading ship here ready to go and it needs a captain for to do an automated trade route. So you have to make sure you have a captain. And what I want to do is set up a trade route between my main base here at Visby and Malmo. Now the first thing I do when I want to set up a automated trade route is see what the towns are producing here. In Visby they're producing cloth, honey, pottery and wool effectively and bricks, grain and hemp at a low capacity. So I'm thinking we're going to trade some cloth, honey and pottery since bricks, grain and hemp are large and so are is wool is also a large product. Now what I mean by large products are uh the barrels here there is 10 barrels in one of these loads so this bricks is 10 times larger than beer so you can carry more beer in your cargo hold than you can bricks so let's take a look at this again we are looking at cloth honey and pottery to trade wool bricks grain and hemp are large items so we weren't we're not going to deal with those right now let's concentrate on these three now the next thing I want to do is look at what Malmo has. Now Malmo also has cloth, so selling cloth to Malmo would not be a good idea. Although they have leather here, then they have meat, wool, bricks, honey. Honey is also produced in Visby, pig iron, and timber. So meat, wool, bricks, pig iron, and timber are large. That leaves cloth, leather, and honey and cloth is produced in Visby, so is honey. So that really leaves us with leather. So let's go back to Visby. And I think we're going to uh, trade pottery here. We're going to sell pottery to Malmo. And we're going to uh, sell leather to Visby is our plan here. So let's open this up. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select a town. And we're going to pick Visby to start with. And we are going to pick Malmo as the next one here. For Malmo, right there. So on Visby, we want to buy pottery. We're going to buy from the town. Let's buy 20 units. Now we can change this to whatever you want. And then we are buying at 170. So let's take a look at the market here for pottery. We are buying it at 221 and they have 21 in stock. So there's not that much pottery in the town, but it's a 221. So let's get up there to maybe 230. So let's go back here and we're going to go here and we're going to go up to 230 here. 230. I'm not sure if this is going to be a good price or not, but we'll see. And then we are going to sell it for. We are buying for 230. We are going to sell it for 240, I think. A little bit of profit. So, first of all, we are at Visby. We are going to buy it for 230. And then we're going to Malmo and we are going to sell the pottery. All of it at 240. And on this, I am going to click this so we do, do repairs in Visby. And then we're going to activate this to get it going. So let's speed the game up and let's see if we actually pick up. We have picked up a little bit of pottery. Now we're going to sail down to Malmo and we're going to try to sell this. I'll bring you back when we are in Malmo. All right, we are now approaching Malmo right here. Let's slow the game down again and let's go into Malmo. And ignore my negative pricing here. My game is pretty tight on money right now, but just ignore this for now. So where is our ship? Here's our trading ship. And we want to look at leather here. So they have 30 leather and they are, we could buy it at 255. So let's go 260. 
So goods here. We want to buy leather. We're going to go 20 here. We're going to go 260. And we are going to sell it at 270. I'm not sure if this is a good price or not. But we're going to do that for now. And then we're going to go back to Visby here. And we are going to sell this maximum. Oh, that's iron goods. Sorry. We want leather. Sell it maximum at 270. So let's go back here. Let's speed the game up and watch what happens here. Are we going to sell some of this pottery? We have sold one pottery and we got four leather. So we're going to head back to Visby. Now we don't have enough money to really buy anything. Hopefully my game corrects itself here pretty soon. Yeah, we have a little bit of money now. Or maybe I spoke too soon. But let's see how this works out. All right, I'm back, and we are now approaching Visby again. Let's watch this to see. We only have a thousand in here. Let's see what it does. So we have sold our leather, and we gained a little bit more pottery. Now let's see if we can sell this pottery. Now we are selling the, we are buying the pottery here, and the average of two hundred and nine. So let's take a look. Pottery here is at 230. So let's drop this pottery down to 215. We're going to buy it. And then let's sell it for 230. Pottery buy. And we are going to sell pottery at 230 here. Let's see how this goes. We sold 10 of the pottery and we've bought a few leather items. And now the leather, we are buying it for 240. Let's check this out. So let's drop this down to 250 here. And let's drop this down to 260. Now, it's up to you how far a gap you want there. If you want to try to make more money, you can. And what I have discovered is that every game is a little bit different. These prices may vary from game to game, depending on what your population is and your difficulty setting and everything else. Right now, I am playing on hard difficulty on this setting here. So let's take a look at what we're doing. We have sold all our leather, and now we have 17 pottery. Let's see how the pottery does again. And I'll bring you back once we are back in Malmo. All right, I'm back and we're just about back in Malmo. Here we go. Let's check this out. We did not sell any of the pottery here this time around, but we did gain two leather. Let's turn this off here. Now let's see. Let's take a look at the pottery here. Oh, we left our ship here. Okay, so we have a basic uh, setup here going. Now, let's say we want to add Alberg to the mix here. We're going to go to Malmo, and then we're going to go to Alberg. So let's go into here, and let's add Alberg here. And we want to sell the... What is it we have? We have um, leather. We're going to sell leather to town at 260 and we want to sell the pottery as well at 230. Now, what does Alberg have here? We have leather here, so they're not going to really be able to sell much leather here. Meat is a large item. Pig iron is a large item. Timber is a large item. They have whale oil here and they've got pottery. So leather and pottery are not going to sell very good over here. So... But we could buy whale oil and sell the whale oil to Malmo and Visby. So let's do that. Let's go to Alberg. We're going to try to sell this stuff, but it probably won't sell. But let's do buy, again, 20 units maximum. And we have it set at 82 here. Let's go into... Let's see. We want to go to... What is the prices of whale oil? They have 19. They're selling it at 118. We're buying it at. 
Let's wait until the ship gets to Alberg and we'll check the price of oil there. A pottery, we have 29 at 200. So the pottery isn't selling that great. Let's slow this down a little bit. And let's take a look at the pottery. Let's drop this down to another 10 here. And we're going to sell the pottery at 220. And this down to 220. Now this is the name of the game. You're going to be adjusting these prices a lot. So let's sell this maximum at 100. And let's sell this. Let's get this done up here. And let's speed the game up till we get to Alberg. Slow it down again. I don't have a little bit of time to think. Check this now. Whale oil, they have 59 whale oil, and they are uh, buying it for 79. Let's take a look. I think we are buying it at 82. Let's raise this up to 90. 90, and I believe we're selling it at 100, yes. So let's try this. Buy that. Now let's go back here, and we'll speed the game up and see how this works. See, we didn't sell any leather or pottery because... Oh, where is it here? Right here. Because they have leather and pottery being created here. So we didn't meet the price. But whale oil... Should be able to sell whale oil in Visby. We're selling it for 100. And we are up down to uh, 109 here. So we may be able to buy some. Or sell some. I will bring you back once we hit Visby here. All right, I'm back, and we're almost back in Visby here. Let's take a look. Let's see how we, if we can sell this leather and this whale oil here. We have sold a little bit of the whale oil and the leather. We gained a lot of pottery. We are down to 195 in the average price of the pottery. So let's take a look here again. Pottery 195. Let's bring this down to 200 here. And let's sell this at 210. And again, 210. And pottery. There we go. Let's see this. Now we're going here. We're almost in Malmo. Let's see if we can sell some of this pottery here and some of this whale oil. So we sold a little bit of the pottery and we've got leather and we sold the whale oil. All right, I'm back. We're almost back into Alberg here. Uh, what do we sell? We pick up a little bit of whale oil. We're going to do one more round just to see how this goes. But this gives you an idea of how to add towns and how to set up a very simple trading route. Probably the most basic one you can. And you can keep adding towns. For instance, we can add, you know, maybe some iron goods here would be a great one. Let's do that real quick. Let's go to Lubeck. And we are going to sell. What we got? We've got the leather. Sell. We've got the pottery. Sell that. And we've got whale oil. Sell. Now let's add... Iron goods. We're going to go to 20 here. And we're buying them at 350. Let's check out what iron... See, they need iron goods right here. This might be very lucrative here. Let's check this out. What are iron goods going for? Iron goods are going for... If 23... 671. Wow. Wow. We can, we can make some money here with iron goods. Let's keep an eye on this. And let's do this real quick. We have 37 pottery and 2 leather. I'll bring it back once we get to Malmo. Alright, here we are. We're approaching Malmo. Let's take a look. We get rid of any of this pottery.
Doesn't look like it. We didn't get rid of anything there. That's okay. We're not going to sell it every single time. Let's go to Alberg. I'll bring it back once we get to Alberg here. All right, I'm back. We're about to enter Alberg. Let's see if we can sell any pottery. I doubt it. But we should pick up some whale oil here. Yes, we've picked up some whale oil. Now we're going to go down to Lubeck. I'm going to bring you back when we get down to Lubeck. And you can see here that they need cloth. We make cloth in Visby and Malmo. So let's go to Visby and let's add cloth here. We're going to buy cloth to, from the town. We're going to buy 20 of it again. Again, this can be any number that you want. And we're buying it at uh, 206. I'm going to slow the game down here a second because I don't want to miss this Lubeck drop off because I want to see the price of iron goods here. Let's go into here and what we got? Cloth is they have 42 at 240 and we are buying cloth here at 218 because we have our administrator office buying it for us. So let's go to 230 possibly 220 right here. So cloth at 2 220 and we're going to sell it at 250. That sounds pretty good. We're going to buy. Now we're going to we're going to buy cloth as well from here because they make cloth here as well. 20 and then we're going to sell cloth 250 and we're going to sell cloth here 250. Here we go. Let's speed the game up. And we're going to slow it down once we get into Lubeck here. Because I want to check the prices that are in this town. Let's slow it down. And let's take a look at Lubeck here. Now, Lubeck, we're interested in iron goods. They have 80. And it's uh, buying for 318. So let's go here. Iron goods. Three are buying at 350. Let's go 320. Let's go 320 and we'll sell it at 350. There we go. We're going to buy iron goods here at 320. Now let's go to here and iron goods. We are going to sell it to the town 350. Iron goods here, sell to the town at 350. Alberg, iron goods, sell to the town at 350. All right, so we've added a few more things. We've added cloth and we've added iron goods. So let's speed this up. Let's take a look. We did not pick up any iron goods here. That's okay. Let's see, iron goods. 320. Let's go up to 325 just in case. 350. Actually, let's go to 330 on this so we can get some. And then we'll sell it at 350. All right, we're going to head back to Visby and I'll bring you back once we get there and we'll do another tour here. We can also are running out of money because my other game, my game is running here in the background. And I do need to work on this, so this is also possibly the reason why we didn't buy any. But let's see how we do. I am almost back in Visby here. We have a lot of pottery. Pottery is not doing too good, so we'll have to check this out. We have 49 pottery. We didn't grab any cloth or anything else. Take a look at cloth here. 225. What do we have cloth going for? Wait a second. Pottery is at 187. What do we. Pottery. Let's go to 195 on this. 195. 
and we'll drop to 205 pottery. 205. 205. And pottery we want to sell at 205 in Ronald and Visby. There. Malmo, Alberg, Lubeck. And gonna buy it. Buy cloth there. Alright, we're just about here in Alberg. Let's see what we do. We've got cloth there. We don't sell anything. Now cloth we're at 190 now. Let's check out the cloth here. Let's buying Let's go to 200 on this. 200. We're selling buying it at 200. And let's drop this to 220. Drop this to 220. All right, let's see how we do here. We just left. We've got some iron goods. We got pottery. We sold our cloth already. So there we go. And it looks like we're starting to make money. So let's do one more trip around and you can see how we added on and we're building our trade route here. We can also start adding in uh, some honey here. So honey is being made in Visby. Now we know that Alberg makes honey. Right, so they won't sell here in, or in Malmo I should say. Malmo makes honey, but Alberg does not make honey. So we could potentially add honey to the list and we could sell honey here as well. So there is another option that we can add to this list if we wanted to. We are almost back into Visby. Let's see how we do with all of this here. We sold all of our iron goods. We've got 53 pottery. At 184 now is the average we're buying it for. Let's double check our pottery. It should be pretty tight right now. We are buying it at 195 and we are selling it at 205. Let's actually sell this for 200. Let's go 200 here. We want to sell it. 200 and 200. Let's do that. Now remember, I am playing on very hard difficulty, so these prices are really tough to make a profit. But let's see how we do. We have 53 pottery. Are we going to sell any? We sold over 10, and we've gained some. I'll bring it back once we get to Alberg here. All right, we're in Alberg. We're getting there. Let's take a look. Do we sell any pottery? We do not sell any pottery. But we've picked up some whale oil. We're back going down to Lubeck. I'll bring it back once we get to Lubeck here. And we'll see if we can get rid of all of this stuff. Alright, we're in Lubeck. Let's take a look. We sold 10 pottery and the rest of the stuff. And we've gained 20 iron goods. So we are now trading stuff through the this area and we can add some more towns if we wanted to usually i don't run uh trading routes like this usually i just trade between two places visby my home base and another one we're not going to fight this you know like stockholm and visby or visby and malmo i don't run more than usually one but this gives you an idea of how you set up a very basic trade route and how to add things and how to adjust the prices so I hope this helps and in the future episodes I will talk about making trade routes where there is a trading office involved. Until then, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon.